Hi guys, welcome back to a million bucks tire. I received so many DMs on Instagram to make a video on our stay in Kumbakonam after I posted my Tamil Nadu vlog. So here I am sharing one of our favorite eco stays in Tamil Nadu and tell you everything about it. In case you haven't seen the vlog yet, I'll link it on the top as well as leave a link in the description box below, so do check that out. Today I'm talking about a place where time stands still and tradition meets modernity to provide the perfect combination of relaxation and exploration. Welcome to Mantra Kudam in the historic town of Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu. If you're looking to spend 2 to 3 days immersing yourself in ancient culture without compromising on creature comforts and live within 6 to 8 hours of Tanjavur, then Mantra Kudam is exactly what you need. In today's video, we're going to take you on a tour of this stunning property and share all the best moments from our 3-day visit. Our trip began in Bengaluru and it took us about 8 hours with a couple of breaks to reach Mantra Kudam. The property is nestled 10 kilometers from Kumbakonam in the village of Vipathur and flanked by the Veera Chora and Kaveri rivers on either side. Kumbakonam refers to the Kumba, a mythical pot that contained all seeds of life displaced by the dissolution of the universe until it came to rest at where this town stands. The drive to Mantra Kudam was nothing less than magical. As we approached the road became a canopy covered path flanked by towering trees whose branches arched overhead with rivers flowing on either side of the path the ambience was both magical and soothing This natural tunnel seemed to transport us away from the chaos of the modern world into the heart of tranquility As we moved beyond this natural archway the sense of entering a special almost sacred space was palpable Right from the start, Mantra Kudam wrapped us in the warmth of Tamil Nadu's rich hospitality traditions. The welcome felt so personal, completed with tying a fragrant gajra made with the freshest jasmine flowers and a serving of refreshing lemonade sprinkled with sabja seeds. Every guest is requested to ring the bell at the entrance, which is believed to cleanse and purify, readying us for a serene retreat. The walk to our cottage was our introduction to the dedication that went into preserving a lifestyle that's in harmony with nature and history. The property is designed like an agraham, a characteristically brahmin street lined with ilyams and is a tribute to the region's heritage and its historic stature as a seat of power in southern India. The walk provided us a vivid glimpse into the communal and cultural fabric of Tamil Brahmin life with modern comforts woven seamlessly into this traditional tapestry. Our cottage was a dream inspired by the timeless Tamil architecture. We were greeted with intricately carved wooden doors, terracotta tiled roofs and spacious verandas that invited the outside in, promising a stay that was both luxurious and deeply connected to local traditions. The open air bathroom was a highlight, offering a unique blend of privacy and an immersive natural experience. It was as if every element of Mantra Kudam was designed to foster a connection with nature, tradition and oneself. The property has a beautiful thatched roof open kitchen tea stall called the Tea Kadai, which serves complimentary tea and coffee with local sweets and savouries to accompany the warm beverage. The tea kadai is open every day between 6 to 7 in the morning and 4:30 to 5:30 in the evening. We were lucky to get our first taste of the world famous Kumbakonam degree coffee just before the service was ending. Degree coffee is famous for its rich aroma and strong flavor made with a special blend of coffee and shikari. It's served in a unique way using a stainless steel cup and saucer which adds to the overall charm. This coffee hour is a cozy communal time allowing guests to relax, chat and soak in the local culture through one of its most cherished rituals. We couldn't have asked for a better start. Our stay at Mantra Kudam was enhanced by the myriad of experiences and activities that connected us to the local culture and traditions. One of the highlights was the heritage walk around the property where we learned about the history and architectural significance of the agrahams and paid respect at over half a dozen temples spread across the property. This tour helped us understand why these places are built the way they are from how the houses are arranged to the shared spaces that bring everyone together. 
Beyond the village aesthetics, the property has a luxurious Ayurveda center and a relaxing pool. Every corner of Mantrakudam is designed to offer peace and relaxation. Whether it's lounging by the pool, reading a book in the library, or exploring the organic farm, there's a sense of timelessness that envelops you, making it the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Some of the other activities include learning the age-old tradition of weaving and pottery from local experts. It isn't just about making something with your hands, it's about connecting with a tradition that's been around for ages. It shows you the importance of preserving these crafts not only as a form of artistic expression but as a living link to the region's history and heritage. Our first day at Mantrakudam was capped off with a scrumptious dinner at the in-house restaurant Annapurna. The restaurant itself is designed to enhance your dining experience with its inviting ambience and views that overlook the serene landscape of Mantrakudam. The staff are attentive and ready to explain the dishes, share stories behind them or even recommend their personal favourites, adding a personal touch to the meal. We called it an early night since we had a long next day of visiting all three great living Chola temples. The morning greeted us with the melodic chirping of the birds as we sat in our front porch enjoying the morning coffee. The complimentary breakfast buffet is served at the restaurant where we ate dinner and the place seemed to have completely transformed during the day. The buffet offered a wide range of dishes showcasing the diversity of Tamil Nadu's cuisines along with international favourites ensuring there's something for every palate. Plus, the peacocks give you company which was a fun experience for us. I'd like to give a special mention to the restaurant staff and their immaculate service which ensured each meal was an experience worth remembering. With a solid start to our second day, we left for Tanjavur to see the star attraction of the area as well as our primary reason for planning this trip. We had requested for a guide from the hotel who were gracious enough to arrange one for us even though it's not part of their regular services and activities. You can check out our visit to the temples in the Tamil Nadu blog mentioned in the description box below. All three temples are no more than one hour drive from the property and the resort serves as a fantastic base not just to visit the Chola temples but a variety of other day trips. We drove to Trankibar on our third day at Mandrakudam, which is about two hours drive and offers a chance to visit a rare Danish trading post in our country. Some of the other day trips you can take are to Thiruvannamalai, Trichy and Chetanad. Trichy is also the closest airport to Kumbakonam in case you're flying in. We had reserved the last morning of our stay for a guided local village tour. Tanjavur district is also known as the Rice Bowl of Tamil Nadu and we were accompanied by a super talented and very well informed naturalist, Arvind, provided by the property. We rented e-bikes to go around the village from the hotel itself. He took us to see the rice paddy fields and then to the farmer's house to really understand how they live and spend their day. Engaging with the local community was another enriching aspect of our stay. It was quite an experience where we got to meet the family and experience their everyday life and the warmth of the rural communities. Whether it was conversing with the friendly staff or meeting villagers, every interaction added a layer of authenticity and warmth to our experience, making us feel not just like guests, but a part of a larger family. Looking back on our stay, it's clear that Mantra Kudam offered us more than just a place to unwind. It was an invitation to dive deep into the heart of Tamil Nadu to connect with its soul through moments of peace, learning and genuine human connections. Our goodbye was as heartfelt as our welcome. The general manager's personal farewell along with the traditional Tanjavur dolls he gifted us left a lasting impression symbolizing the warmth and richness of Tamil culture. For anyone drawn to the vibrant tapestry of Tamil Nadu, Mantra Kudam is a doorway to unforgettable experiences. It's more than just a destination, it's a journey into the soul of this beautiful land. We hope the story inspires you to explore and discover the wonders that await. Until our next adventure, let's keep seeking out the beauty in every corner of our world and our lives.